love our daily bread and there's just nothing like a fresh loaf straight from the oven and it all starts with a little grassy plant called wheat slowly and with a lot of loving help growing ripening and making its way to the silos millers shops and bakeries to think we just gobble it down Really? We should have more respect. But it's just so nice. And it's not just a favorite here in South Africa. Globally, wheat is grown on more land area than any other commercial crop. Between 650 and 700 million tons of wheat are produced worldwide every year. The world's largest wheat producer is China, on its own producing over 110 million tons annually. That's a lot of dough. Countries like India, Russia, the United States and Canada also produce wheat on a very large scale. In fact, wheat is the most important staple food for humans. People across the globe simply love wheat and not just for bread. All kinds of yummy foods have wheat as its base, from pasta in its variety of shapes and sizes to pizza. In the United States alone, almost 3 billion pizzas are sold every year. Sweet delights like cakes and cookies are all made from wheat flour. Then, there's the choice of colorfully packaged wheat-based breakfast cereals. And, wheat's ability to be changed into beer through fermentation. Whole grain wheat is a concentrated source of vitamins, minerals and protein and can also be used in animal feed, which will again give us products like meat and milk. One plant, so many uses, yet there are quite a few steps to get from plant to plate. Not to mention the processes required in the industrial application of wheat. In this way, wheat plays a very large role in the economy of our country and the world. It is a job creator of note. After harvesting, wheat is stored in silos from where it goes into the milling process. When milled and refined to make white flour, it leaves just the endosperm, which is mostly starch. The byproducts are bran and germ, which can be used for other applications. A product such as wheat germ oil, for instance, is widely used for its many health and cosmetic benefits. The properties that make wheat suitable in food products, the starch and gluten, are what make it functional for a range of industrial applications. Wheat starch is used as a thickening agent in food processing. It is also used to make paper stronger, as an adhesive on postage stamps, and to hold the bottom of paper grocery bags together. Gluten is the elastic protein in wheat and is the glue that binds baked goods and pasta. This glue-like property of gluten is why it can also be used in the preparation of products like adhesives, resins and roof coatings. Wheat straw can be used in building materials such as roofing thatch. Wheat even has vroom as it is suitable to produce biofuel. Small wonder the world trade for wheat is greater than for all other crops combined. And it's been grown for thousands of years. Wheat was the key factor in the emergence of city-based societies at the start of civilization. And so it spread across the world to become the leading source of vegetable protein in human food and widely applied in the manufacturing of modern convenience goods. Let's go and see what it takes to produce this gem of a crop. Wheat is grown in winter as it needs a certain degree of cold weather to grow to full potential. In South Africa, 
The main production areas for wheat are the Eastern Free State and Western Cape because of the winter rainfall. However, wheat is also produced in other regions of our country but on a smaller scale and usually under irrigation. All round, it's actually quite tricky to grow sufficient amounts of quality wheat. Ever larger yields are needed to feed a growing local and global population, but land size is not increasing. Farmers must carefully prepare the soil to allow for optimal growth conditions. They must also guard against weeds and pests, as well as ensure good long-term soil health. Wheat can therefore not be planted in the same soil year after year. The section of land where the wheat was grown in one season must either be left to rest for a year or it can be planted with a different crop such as canola, sunflower or animal feed such as medics. Selection of the wheat variety is as important. There are six main classes of wheat and more than 30,000 varieties. Farmers select the type of wheat they plant based on the specific climate and soil as well as the market application of the wheat. In this way, Durham wheat is sometimes referred to as macaroni wheat. It is a hard wheat species, which makes it ideal for pasta. But calling it macaroni wheat is quite limiting, since about 600 different shapes of pasta are produced across the world. The most widely planted wheat is common wheat or bread wheat. Like bread itself, bread wheat comes in many varieties. So much to choose from, and we love it. We feed on it. Our economy feeds on it. In South Africa, we produce about 2 million tons of wheat every year. To ensure that our wheat industry grows with local demand, we must insist on South African produced wheat. This will give us food security over the short and long term. Just consider what will happen if we did not have a solid wheat industry in times when other countries have none to export to us. We'll have no bread, that's what. Wheat is a lifeline. It feeds us and it creates livelihoods for people on the farm and in every aspect of its processing and marketing. As Mao Zedong said, with grain in our hands, there is no panic in our hearts. Think about it every time you take a tasty bite.